Hey guys, what's up? It's Arcade Code here, and welcome back to my Unix tutorials. So, I believe this is episode 12, and today we're going to change our nature of a game a bit. We're going to add a first person shooter um, game object. To do so, Unity offers us a handy set of prefabs to be able to handle different types of characters. So, if you click on Assets, Import Package, Character Controller, it, you will ha see that you have loads and loads of different uh, different scripts and a uh, bunch of uh, sources and stuff you want to click import. So it is surely slowly but surely standard uh, downloading the standard assets onto our project, and you can see we have first person, etc., etc. Now you might have noticed that we have a prefab first person. Um, object right here, and um, I think we might as well use it uh, just for reference. Uh, it has uh, as components. It has the tr transform, which every single game object has. It has the character controller, which you can find under as uh, game objects components. Sorry, and character cam character, and I believe it is. Character controller, FPS input controller. Um, I believe it's somewhere in there. The mouse look script from the camera, and the character motor and FPS controller, both from the characters section. So now, if we put this into the game by simply clicking and dragging it in, you can see that it is very small. And has um, and is partially underground, which we're going to fix right now by pulling it up upwards. Now, when we press play, you can see we have a first-person camera. So you can now move around. Notice how the cube still moves because it was how it works. And notice how you can also press the left mouse button. This is because we have, um, I believe, it's from the FPS input controller that does that for us. So now what we're going to do is grab our cube, put it underneath our uh, assets so that we still have it as a reference, and delete it from our hierarchy. Um, inside our cube, we still have that gun. Simply uh, drag it from in, click on the little arrow next to cube. And click and drag it inside your Unity scene. Align it with your camera, with your first person player here, to make sure you have it where you want to shoot. Now, as we did before, you can just child it by. And I don't know where we have two guns, that's probably because of uh, the cube, but you can click the cube. The gun section, which actually has all the information we need from inside our gun hierarchy, and place it inside the first person, person controller. Press continue and destroy this gun we have right here. Now uh, it appears that it wasn't placed in the right section here because of how we already had it child to something else. So we can fix this by dragging it along until we have it in the right position, which might take a bit of fiddling around. Um, I definitely have trouble doing this, so hopefully you have more luck than I do. And make sure your camera, uh, make sure it is in the right position compared to your camera. And make it probably a bit lower than the actual camera to ensure that it doesn't completely obstruct your view. Now when you press the game and click, you can see you have this huge cylinder coming out. This is because it is a little too big. So in your project tiles, you can just scale it down back to 1, 1, and 1. If you play the game now, and now you click, you can see you are now shooting much smaller capsules. You can even shoot it in any direction you want. Uh, unless forwards that probably doesn't work because of the camera. 
So that's all for today's episode, guy. We got a working first person uh, player, and we even have our script uh, shooting the cylinders again uh, with our first person controller. So hope you like this video, guys. Um, I'll be back next episode to make the shooting script a little better, so you can shoot upwards as well. And um, uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And uh, thanks for watching.